Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine Marketplace video. Today we're going to be covering the mega sale which is happening from now until the 7th of May and you can save up to 70% on nearly 2000 different assets. So today I'm going to be covering my top 10 which I found, so without further ado, let's just get right into it, starting with the stylized environment series, Tropical Package. So this is a great solution for creating your tropical stylized environments. The set includes palm trees, trees, stones, plants, grass, and a stylized water material. And there's also an example scene with an environment already created for you included as well. So this includes various type of palm trees, plants, herbs, grass, flowers, and stones. In total, there are 63 unique meshes, all of which have automatically generated collision, and the vertex count is varied with the minimum being 6 and maximum being 4840, so that's still very very good. They do also include LODs, however it doesn't say how many. There's 34 materials and material instances with 20 textures with the resolutions ranging from 512 by 512 all the way up to 4K. So this one looks absolutely fantastic. If this is the kind of thing you wanted to go for, a stylized tropical environment, this is absolutely perfect for you. As you can see on the video now, this is what you're going to get. This is what you can have your environment looking like. And obviously you have the scene included here, but you can also create your own one as well from scratch to have it looking perfect for how you want. Next up is the multi-story blueprint elevator and VR. So the number of floors can be adjusted, the height of each floor can be adjusted, and it also works with virtual reality glasses with no extra effort. So there's three different elevators in this. The elevator consists of 11 floors by default, but you can also increase or decrease the number of floors on here as well. So in total there is 38 blueprints with the input being keyboard and mouse and is not network replicated. So there's not a lot to say on this, you kind of see what it is and you can expect what it is you're going to get. You get an elevator system with multiple floors so you can go up and down to any floor you want using this system as you can see on the screen now and it's very easy to customize as well to change the height of the floors, how many floors there are, the speed of the elevator and all this great stuff. Next up, we have the TPS Character System V2. So this brings powerful features for creating an amazing gameplay experience. It's fully network ready, modular, and scalable. Along with powerful shooting mechanics for creating an amazing gameplay experience and an upgraded system architecture with high modularity and scalability, the TPS Character System V2 allows developers to do things they never could before. So this has advanced movement abilities, an inventory system and weapon wheel, powerful shooting mechanics and various equipment. So they've also said that this product will be constantly improved upon so once you buy it it's still going to be updated and they also have a roadmap and patch notes linked onto the marketplace page as well. So some of the main features of this are there is a standing, crouching and prone, there's sprinting, climbing and jumping over covers, ragdoll and jumping, IK foot, health, armor, endurance, an advanced third person camera, inventory, weapon wheel, crosshair, predictive recoil, bullet spread, visual effects, damage system, various different animations, and various equipment as well. There's a lot more in this too, but there's so much that I can't say it all here right now. The supported platforms for this is PC. There is a documentation for this as well. There's 78 blueprints, and the input is gamepad and keyboard and mouse. And obviously, as I said earlier, this is also network replicated as well, so this will work for a multiplayer game too. Now we have Vampire. This is a high quality, realistic, low poly 3D model of a vampire. There's not a lot to say about this one, but you can see it on screen now. This is a high quality, realistic, but low poly 3D model of a vampire. The model is ready for use in games and other real time applications. So this is rigged, and it is rigged to the epic skeleton. So in the video you can see it is animated, however they've not made those animations themselves. These are just the default mannequin animations which they have retargeted over, so it is rigged for you to be able to just put animations on it yourself. There are 9 textures and 3 materials, with the textures being 4K. The poly count of this is 40,562. There's one mesh, and it is UV mapped. This could be a player character, this could be an NPC, it could be an enemy, whatever you want, but this would work perfect in your game. Next up it is the Modular Horror Medieval Village Pack. This allows you to build unlimited wooden shelters and huts, and it's also fully modular and customizable down to the last detail. So this has various sizes for you to make unique variations for the indoor and outdoor areas you'll build. You can create customizable color variations and add different pattern textures. You can apply customizations compatible with the Megascan library, 
and you can customize your textures with the advanced landscape system. So all the materials in this are PBR, which is physics based rendering, and it has AAA quality techniques. In total, there is 198 unique meshes, all of which have both custom and automatically generated collision. There are LODs, however it doesn't say how many. There's 13 materials, 103 material instances, and 13 material functions. There's 414 textures, with the text resolutions being 512 all the way up to 4K. There's 29 blueprint actors and 6 foliage types with 2 maps, those being a demonstration map and an overview map. So this one looks absolutely fantastic. Now it is the goblin animations. So this is a collection of handcrafted goblin animations. In total there are 75 different animations, those being ambush, club, eat, evade, get up, idle, jump, run, sleep, special idle, stagger, turn, walk and worship. So this features pose matched start and end frames to the provided idle animations, so they're going to loop nice and smoothly. There's no need to retarget the animations if using the default Unreal Mannequin. And these are also handcrafted animations from a professional animator. So these are rigged to the epic skeleton and they also include IK bones as well. There's 75 animations and all of these animations are root motion. So these aren't in place, they are root motion, which is something important to keep in mind. Also a disclaimer they've said is any blueprints for gameplay is not included, it's strictly just an asset pack for the animations. And the character model from the promotional video and images as well are not included. So the character you see on screen isn't included, but I can also tell that that is just the UE4 mannequin painted green with a goblin head on top of it. So you probably wouldn't want to use that anyway, but the animations that you see you do get, which is obviously the main part why you're getting this and they look absolutely perfect. Next up is a 3D Alembic blood effects. So this is extremely realistic and highly detailed simulated alembic blood splatter effects such as blood splashes, explosions, spraying and dripping effects. So this pack has 19 variations with 3 detail levels. We have 3 blood splashes, 4 blood hitting wall effects, 3 blood explosions, 3 blood dripping effects, 3 spraying effects and 2 blood droplet effects. They've also said more effects will be added in the future as well. You can use any material on these effects to suit your requirements such as water material, orange juice material etc. So they've obviously made these with blood in mind but you can use this for any liquid that you want. They've also said that it's important to remember that these are geometry caches of fluid simulations done in Houdini imported into Unreal Engine in Alembic format. These are not Niagara or other particle effects. These effects won't interact with the environment like real time effects. So that is something to keep in mind with these, these are not Niagara, they are Houdini imported into Unreal. So the features of this are highly detailed effects ready to be used in AAA quality games and cinematics, realistic blood, dirty blood, water and orange juice materials included, they respond to lighting in a realistic manner with real shadows being casted, and there are also high, medium and low poly versions available. The type of emitters here are CPU, there's 19 unique effects and each of them have 3 LODs. You can switch them in a blueprint based on your requirement. There are four materials, there's one blueprint and there's 19 unique meshes. So again, these look absolutely fantastic, they look really really well done and obviously as they've said, these don't have to just be blood, you can change these to be any type of fluid that you want. Next up we have the Fallen Fortress. So this is the aftermath of a brutal siege, revealing a desolate battlefield with scattered debris, abandoned siege weapons and remains of dead soldiers. So this asset depicts a desolate and brutal battlefield that tells the story of a devastating siege on a once great fortress. The remains of the castle lay in ruins, with massive chunks of stone and debris scattered throughout the environment. Blood puddles and the remnants of shattered weapons are strewn across the landscape along with the lifeless bodies of soldiers. Siege artillery lies abandoned amidst the destruction, with arrows and other weapons scattered everywhere, evoking the tragic aftermath of a violent and destructive battle. Players can immerse themselves in the harrowing remnants of a once great stronghold and experience the devastation and sorrow of war. So something important to remember is some meshes have a very high poly count and are only meant to be used with nanite. So they've also said this product supports lumen and nanite and obviously as they've said there some meshes in this should only really be used with nanite due to their high poly count. So in total there are 79 unique meshes, all of which have automatically generated collision. The vertex count, they haven't said any specifics, but they've said it goes up to the hundreds of thousands. 
and there are no LODs, as obviously this is meant to be used with Nanite. There's 87 materials and material instances, with 132 textures, with the text resolutions being up to 4K. So again, this looks absolutely fantastic, very high quality, lots of detail, obviously meant to be used with Nanite due to that level of detail that they have there. Now it is the water elemental. Not a lot to say on this, but this is rigged and not to the epic skeleton, and it is also animated. There are nine animations, these being enter, idle, walk, run, hand attack right, hand attack left, spell, hit, and death. All the animations are in place. There's one character, 11 materials, and eight textures, with the text resolutions being 4K. This also has four LODs on it as well. And finally, last but not least, we have the procedural forest for open worlds. So you can create in minutes open world forests full of grass, trees, and rocks. So this pack will help you procedurally recreate in Unreal Engine 5 huge open world forests. The pack has everything you need to create in just a few clicks, open world forests full of trees, grass, and rocks. Everything in this pack is procedurally generated and designed to create huge environments in just a few clicks. The pack comes with a landscape auto material with 8 layers so you can paint grass, rock and many types of dirt and forest ground and more. The pack also comes with 20 oak trees, 7 grass types and 8 rocks. So in total there are 35 unique meshes, all of which have automatically generated collision and there are no LODs as all of the meshes are nanite as well. So similar to a recent one, this is meant to be used with nanite so there's no need for any LODs in this. There's 22 materials in material instances, with 90 textures, with most of the textures being 4K. It doesn't say what the other ones are, but they said the majority are 4K. So once again, this is highly customizable and easy to use. You can create open world prairie environments in just a few clicks, and all the foliage comes with color variations, which can be adjusted together with other parameters, such as wind strength, intensity, and more, directly from the material instances. So this one looks absolutely fantastic. And with that, I think that'll be it for this video covering the Unreal Engine Marketplace Mega Sale going from now until Sunday the 7th of May. Again, you can save up to 70% on nearly 2,000 different assets. So let me know in the comments down below which one your favourite ones are from this sale and if there's any which I've missed, as I'm sure there will be, as again, there's nearly 2,000 assets. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful with me just covering these assets and showing them to you. And if you did, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.